Okay, I'm gonna explain how the NMOS works. If it's on, if it's on, if it's off, if it's on saturation, or if it's on triad. So the first thing we have to do is explain the symbol. We're gonna have this symbol right here. This is gonna be our gate. This is gonna be our drain. And this is gonna be our source. There are other ways to represent the NMOS transistor. We're gonna have this one right here. Same thing. We're gonna have a gate drain and a source but this time it's going to have an arrow right here and another one is going to be this one right here but we're going to have a bulk right here drain, source, and gate and we're going to explain what the bulk is later on in a different lecture right now we're just going to focus on this symbol right here okay on the NMOS transistor we're going to have four voltages one is going to be the gate the other one is going to be the drain and the other one is going to be the source this voltage right here is the difference between the gate and the drain, which is called BHD. Another voltage is right here, BGS, gate to source. And the other voltage is right here, drain to source. The other voltage, the fourth voltage, is going to be called threshold voltage. And it's represented as BTN, N for NMOS. And we're going to be using this voltage as 0.5 volts. This voltage is given by the new factor. You can play with the voltage uh, doing different things, but that's not something uh, we're going to cover this right now. And we're going to use it as 0.5 volts. Okay, so let's see. How do we know if the transistor is on or off? So let's start with something simple. Let's say you have a voltage right here on the gate as 0.4 volts. And on the drain you have three volts, and on the source you send it out to ground. So you have your BS, you have your D, you have your G. BS is going to be zero. Okay, so how how do you know if it's on or off? So basically, you want to know if BGS is greater than BT and the threshold voltage. If this is true, then it's going to be on. If it's false, it's going to be off. Okay, so let's start with this example. What is your BGS? It, it's basically the gate minus the source, which in this case the gate is going to be 4.4 volts minus the source since it's grounded 0 volts. It's going to be 0.4 volts. So it's 0.4 volts greater than 0.5 volts. Since this is false, it's going to be off. Okay, let's do another example. We're going to have right here an NMOS transistor. We're going to have three volts right here on the drain. On the source, we're going to have one volt. And on the gate, we're going to have 3.6 volts. First of all, is it on or is it off? So is BGS greater than BTN? So the gate voltage, BGS, equals the gate minus the source, BS, which is 3.6 volts of the gate, right here, minus the source, it's 1 volt, it's going to be 2.6 volts. That's way, way bigger than the threshold voltage, which is 0.5 volts, so it's on. Now, is it on saturation or is it on triad? In order to know this, we have this relationship. BDS has to be gray, gray, bigger than, I'm sorry, BDS has to be greater than BGS minus BT. Okay, so let's, let's check it out. Your BDS is going to be the drain minus the source, which is going to be what is your drain? Let's use a different color. Your drain is going to be 3 volts minus the source, which is going to be 1 volt. It's going to be 2 volts. Is that greater than uh, BGS? We have to find BGS. It's going to be your gate minus your source, which is going to be. 3.6 minus 1. 
3.6 volts. So now let's see this relationship right here. It's 2 volts. Remember this relationship. If this is true, it's on saturation. If it's false, it's on prior. It's 2 volts greater than 2.6 minus 0.5 volts of the ETN. Since this is false, it's going to be on trial. Okay, now let's do another example right here. We're going to do this. We're going to have 3.6 volts, but this time we're going to have on the drain, we're going to have 5 volts on the drain. Drain gate okay, source. It's important to label your, um, your uh, voltages right here, which one is the source, which one is the drain. That way you don't mix them up. Uh, if you're starting with transistors, good to label them. And the voltage source, just as before, we're going to have both, so the only difference is going to be the drain. So is it on or is it off? We already know that it's 3.6 minus 1. Is that greater than 0.5? That's way greater. Now let's see. Is it on saturation or is it on triad? We have this relationship right here. So let's write it down right again. Is this greater than BGS minus BTN? If it's true, and saturation. If it's false, it's on triad. And let's see, BDS. That's going to be BD minus BS, which is 5 volts, minus the source is 1 volt. It's going to be 4 volts. BGS is going to be BG minus BS. It's going to be 3.6 minus 1 volt. It's going to be 2.6 volts. So it's 4 volts greater than 2.6 minus 0.5. I'm sorry. This is true. So it's on saturation. So now let's do another problem. Let's say if they ask you, hey, you know what, I wanna, I want you to find a gate voltage, a gate voltage that keeps the transistor right there on the edge of saturation and try it. So how do you do this? Let's say they give you this right here. And they give you four volts right here, two volts right here, and a voltage. This, you don't know, so you gotta find it. So we have this relationship, which is minus BT, but the question is, I want it off the edge, I want the transistor on the edge of triad and saturation. How do you do this? You just remove this one, make it equal, and it's going to be right there on the edge. So let's start it, let's expand this, BD minus BS equals BG minus BS minus BTN. You already have BD, let's do another color. BD is going to be 4 volts minus the source, which is going to be 2 volts, equals BG is going to be the unknown variable. BS is going to be your 2 volts, and BTN, you know, it's always 0.5 volts. In this case, it can change for different transistors. So let's find BG. BG. We can get rid of this right here. It's going to be 4 plus 0.5. That's going to be 4.5 volts. And that's going to keep it on the edge of triad and saturation.